Hey guys, in today's tutorial we are going to show you how to create your own custom ringtones for your iPhone using songs that are already in your iTunes library. Uh, this could save you some money and help make your iPhone ring stand out from every other iPhone ring that's out there. Uh, it's really not that hard to do, but there are a couple steps that we have to follow to make it happen. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we're going to do is open up the control panel. I'm not going to do that. And we're going to go into folder options. And once we have that open, we're going to click the view tab. And we're going to look for the option that says hide extensions for known file types. And we're going to make sure that there is no check mark in that box. Once we make sure that we've taken the check mark out, we're going to go ahead and click OK and then we can close the control panel and we're going to open iTunes. This is the only software that we're going to need to make our, our custom ringtones happen so it's really kind of easy. The first thing that we're going to do is go into the upper left hand corner and click preferences and here in the general preferences we're going to click import settings and we're going to make sure that we are using the AAC encoder. If you're using any of the other ones, MP3 or WAV or anything else, make sure you select AAC encoder and click OK. And then go ahead and click OK. And now what we're going to do is find the song that we want to use as the ringtone. And in this example, we're going to use the Adams Family theme song. Um, so what we're going to do is right click the song and scroll down to where it says get info and then we're going to go over here to options and we can see that there's a start time and a stop time you can see that this song is 1 minute 24 seconds long for your ringtones you're gonna want them to be at around 30 seconds anything shorter and it has to kinda of repeat doesn't sound so good anything longer it won't play the whole thing so for this song we want it to start just at the very beginning so we won't have to worry about specifying a start time if you're using a different song and you want it to start at the chorus just play the song find when the chorus starts and enter that time here and we want this song to stop not at a minute 24 but at 30 seconds so we're going to check the stop box and then we're going to say zero minutes and put a colon and then say 30 seconds and then we're gonna go ahead and click OK and you can see that this song has been shortened from the minute 24 seconds down to 30 seconds long so now that we've got our song shortened we're going to go ahead and right click it scroll down and click create AAC version and it just duplicates the song here with another AAC version now what we're going to do is we can just right click that song and then scroll down to where it says show in Windows Explorer and we can see that we've got Adams Family M4A in the Windows Explorer what we're going to do is click it and we're going to change this to M4R so in the very beginning when we uh, adjusted the file settings to show the extensions that's what this did and without that we it makes it a lot harder to change it to the right uh, file format so we rename it a .m4r file and go ahead and hit enter it will say if you change a file name extension it might become unstable yes we can change it and now what we need to do is make sure that we know where this file is um, you can either drag it to your desktop if you think that's more convenient or you can just kind of watch um, up here and it will show you where the file is but just make sure you can find it and you can minimize that window and now what we're gonna do is come back up here and go to add file to library and for me it just pulls up the window exactly you may have to come through and, and find the file but we're gonna go ahead and add this file to our iTunes library 
and you can see it didn't add anything to our music section but if we come over here and click on the tones section now we have an Adams Family tone that plays so that's exactly what we wanted it to do now what we're gonna do is uh, connect our iPhone to the computer <clears throat> and you can see it's detecting it a lot of people have their sync files all set up so that their tones sync automatically um, but what we can do to make sure that it comes over is we're gonna click on our iPhone and we're gonna come down to the tones setting and we want to make sure that we sync all our tones so you can either sync all of them you can select certain tones that you want to move over to your phone however you want to do it um, we'll say all tones and then in the lower right hand corner you can either click apply or right here it will say sync and it's gonna start moving everything over to our iPhone and now this file should be on our phone um, and we'll show you here in just a sec how to set that as your ringtone um, we may want to come back here and kinda of clean up our music library if you'd like you can delete um, this version of the song that we had shortened and then we can find the original song go back into get info options and then uncheck that so that it will play the whole song that way if you are playing the song on your iPod or your iPhone it will play the whole song and not just the 30 second clip and then in our tones you can see that we still have the clip and that it still works so that way your your library is cleaned up and that should be everything that you need to do on the computer so let's go ahead and move to the iPhone and show you how to apply this as a ringtone. All right, so now we're here on our phone and we're going to apply the ringtone that we just created and synced to our device. So we're going to open up settings and then we're going to come down here to where it says sounds and then you can see that there are different um, ringtones for everything. Your, your phone ringtone, your text, voicemail, whatever. So we're going to adjust this and have it play as our phone call ringtone. Currently we have just the default one. It's the custom song that we selected. So if anybody calls they should um, reach us and our new custom ringtone will play. So that is how you create your own ringtones using songs from your iTunes library move them to your iPhone and set them as your ringtones if you guys have any questions please post it in the comments and if this video was helpful give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel thanks so much for watching guys and have a great day